Hey, hello guys. This is Karthik from ExecuteAutomation.com. This is part two of our automation testing framework design and development video series. So in this part, we're going to talk about kinds of automation testing frameworks available. So there are different kinds of frameworks available in the market right now, but some of the most commonly used automation testing frameworks which we're going to discuss are data-driven frameworks, keyword-driven frameworks, and hybrid frameworks. Data-driven frameworks. Data-driven frameworks are used where testing relies on huge number of input data. For example, online candidate forms, which requires a lot of input data to be supplied by users with different combinations, then we can use data-driven framework. Let's consider an online application form where we have like 80 to 90 data to be given as an input for the application and that too with different permutations and combinations or similarly 80 data is not just a small deal but right now it can seem to be like a small deal but what if your application grows much further and then the 80 fields will increase to 180 fields then relying on data is a really important task by the time and hence we need a way to input all this data that's why data driven frameworks are used these different combinations of data cannot be hard-coded in our Java or c -sharp class files. Hence, they need to be pulled from some of the external data sources. The data sources can be an XML file, an Excel file, or even a SQL database tables. Hence, data-driven frameworks will have code to pull data from any of the data source, which can then be used to populate data on applications UI during data entry operations. So in this kinds of framework, we'll mostly write libraries to pull data from external data sources. And these framework will heavily depend on data keyword driven frameworks. In keyword driven frameworks, both applications UI objects and test data are coded within Java or C sharp class files. Meaning here the applications test data also is hard coded along with the applications UI and also most of the functionalities are written as a method in C sharp and Java class files. So here each and every operations are represented as a keyword for example send email, register user, logout as you could see all these are a methods and this can be used across the framework anytime every time you need it. New test cases can reuse the existing keywords very easily. It is very easy to modify and maintain the code but requires more programming knowledge and if the data is increases again is an overhead we cannot use this in our keyword driven framework. In order to overcome the problem with the keyword driven and the data driven pros of both the frameworks we're going to one more framework which is hybrid framework. Since hybrid framework is a combination of both keyword driven and data driven frameworks Hybrid frameworks will pull the data from the external data source and also uses the keyword to perform the operations such as register use and send emails, etc., which we saw in the previous slides. So hybrid framework is what we are going to use and develop in most of our projects. And for this video series, I'm going to take the hybrid framework model to develop our framework. So in upcoming video series, we're going to design and develop only hybrid framework. We're going to design and develop the hybrid frameworks. Thank you so much for watching this video and have a great day.